Welcome to the Shimatsu training video. This is for the syringe unit for a uh, SIL 10AF auto sampler. We're going to be covering changing out the syringe on the syringe unit. You want to first loosen the white Teflon nut at the bottom. This will free up the plunger for the syringe. You can then unscrew the body of the syringe itself. It's easier if you grip it from the metal uh, front at the top of the syringe to initially get it started, then it should unscrew freely. And sometimes you can have issues with the nut uh, right below the valve. Make sure that that is tight. You can use a metric wrench to tighten that up. You do not need to completely crank on it, but it does need to be firm. If you do have leaking, tighten it. If it's not, you can leave it be. In order to reinstall the syringe, uh, it's actually easier if you loosen that same nut just for the installation process. You can take your new syringe and you can screw it into that same fitting. Make sure that the bottom plunger is hooked underneath that clip so that it will pull it down when it's actually actuating. Hold the nut in place using the wrench and tighten the syringe by hand. You should not need to use any tool for the syringe itself. Just simply make the syringe hand tight. Then you can tighten that same fitting into the valve body using the metric wrench. This makes it a little bit easier to get a tighter uh, fitting to syringe connection. And finally, don't forget the white nut for the bottom to hold the plunger in place. And a final note on lubrication for the syringe unit. There are five screws that hold the body onto the syringe unit. If you take the cover off with those five screws, the cover just lifts off. And there's a worm gear that you can easily access from the back. And with the cover off, you can easily see the worm gear from the back side, right there. You want to use an eyedropper and it's very easy to apply the oil to that. Do not use any oil, especially not 3-in-1. You want to use the special oil. It actually says Auto Simpler on it. You want to get it from us because it's specifically designed for the friction for that valve. A lot of times if it's noisy, it's just any old oil that's been applied to that. So make sure that the proper lubricant has been applied to that. Sometimes you want to take a uh, chem wipe and clean off the old oil before applying the new. That'll help prevent future friction when it, uh, as the friction applies.